In 1950, there was a phenomenally gifted black woman who was hosting her own television show 36 years before Oprah Winfrey went into national syndication. And her talent and her skills made her rich and famous. She was a piano prodigy, an accomplished performer, and fought and won an early civil rights case. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, recognize that that is by design. She was the victim of a smear campaign that made the attempt to write her out of history. I'm Dr. Miller, your TikTok TV historian, and this is Women's History Month. Meet Hazel Scott, a critically acclaimed performing artist who began study at Juilliard at eight years old. Let me repeat that, eight years old. Nineteen fifty was an especially big year for Hazel. She successfully sued a restaurant for denying her service because she was black. The restaurant tried to argue that she was rude and impolite, and that's why they denied her service. But her attorney produced a surprise witness, and she won. Attracted by her fame and talent, Dumont Network came calling and offered her her own weekly show. Contrary to what Wikipedia currently says, Hazel Scott wasn't the first black American to host a TV show. Ethel Waters had had a variety special in 1939, and in 1948, Bob Howard hosted The Bob Howard Show. But she was probably the most successful given that her show started out locally and went national on the Dumont Network. Everything was going right for Hazel Scott until the right-wing journal Counterattack published a pamphlet called Red Channels, a report on communist influence in radio and television destroying the promising career of this young woman. But unlike a lot of other people who were blacklisted in red channels, Hazel wasn't just a woman, she was a black woman. And because of that, her blacklisting was way more definite and final. You can see that in the change in newspaper headlines, going from celebrating her phenomenal successes to really dehumanizing her. Ever an activist, she organized a boycott against the industry for what it had done. In an attempt to save her career, she even voluntarily appeared in front of the House Un-American Activities Committee. And in my opinion, it's ridiculous that she's not in every single American history textbook. Like and follow on the more you'll know.